Hi everybody, my name is Attila Toth, I'm a developer advocate with CLDB and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up a 1 million operations per second demo with CLDB Cloud. So the very first thing you need to do is uh, go to this uh, GitHub uh, repository page, uh, I'm gonna put a, a link in the description so you can find it and then clone this repository. So once you clone this repository, if you run Terraform, uh, it will build out uh, multiple infrastructure element, elements, thing, things like EC2 instances and uh, a CLDB cloud cluster. And it will start running 1 million operations per second using the EC2 instances. Uh, and then once everything is built out, we are going to go to uh, CLDB uh, monitoring. Uh, where we can where we can actually see a graph on a dashboard and see the uh, operations happening in real time. All right, so clone this repository. Um, I already did that, and then basically you will need to modify only one configuration file, which is the variables Terraform file. As you can see, uh, this is what it looks like. It has things like um, the uh, Silicon Cloud API token, the cloud region. Uh, the uh, uh, SSH private key uh, location, uh, the name of the AWS key pair, and the AWS credentials file location. All right, so I'm gonna put in my own information right now. All right, so I added my own variables in this file. Now you ju we just need to uh, initialize uh, Terraform with the Terraform init command. So I'm gonna run Terraform init. This will create a new Terraform project folder for us. And then once it's done, you can run Terraform plan. Uh, so you will actually see the infrastructure elements that Terraform uh, wants to build out. You can check these if you want. Uh, and then you can just run uh, Terraform uh, apply. Um, and then it will ask you to, to confirm it. So yes. Uh, and then this will start building out the uh, infrastructure, including the EC2 instances, uh, the VPC, uh, CILADB cloud cluster, and uh, other things. Uh, this will take probably more than 15 minutes. So I'm gonna cut here, and then uh, I'm gonna come back when the process uh, is completed. So as you can see, the process uh, has been uh, completed. Uh, so once the once Terraform is done, what you can do is go to uh, the CLDB Cloud dashboard. You can open it, and then you will find a new CLDB cluster called uh, Scylla Cloud Demo. And as you can see, it's already almost at one million operations per second. Um, you can click on it, and then there will be a monitoring tab right here. And then uh, let's let's open the monitoring tab. All right. So once the dashboard opens, uh, this is a graph on a dashboard, by the way, that comes uh, built in with your CLDB Cloud uh, uh, cluster. You can find different metrics here, like the latencies and, and the requests per second, uh, which is uh, this one right here. So as you can see, it's almost at one million uh, requests per second. If if we wait uh, a couple of minutes, it will go over a million. Um, and then base, and then you can monitor your cluster going forward using the, the monitoring uh, tool. So that's all that I wanted to basically show you. This is the repository that uh, we have been using. You need to clone this and then set the variables. Uh, and then basically you are good to go. You just need to wait um, a little bit more than 15 minutes until everything gets built out. Um, and uh, you will uh, be able to monitor CLDB using the monitoring tool. Um, if you have uh, questions or even if you find like errors uh, with this tool, um, feel free to open an issue on GitHub and we will uh, uh, try to resolve it as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.